Hello, this is Angela from Creative Crafting back for another video. It's been a while. So I am going to the live production of Little Mermaid this coming weekend. And I'm going with a friend and her daughter who's eight. So I decided to make her a little wand. So this is the wand. Let me kind of do this excuse my messy desk right so this is what I came up with I just thought that what eight-year-old wouldn't like this cuteness so okay so I'm trying to get this stabilized okay so this is what I came up with I went ahead and um, I have some paper I used really really thick card stock for this I cut two four inches wide by 12 inches pieces of paper or card stock and I was gonna use my Cricut and have it cut it and scored and all that it was more of a hassle so I just did it on my Martha Stewart scoreboard is what I did so this is what I came up with so I love the way this came out normally I don't really love my stuff, but this I actually do like. So I did Little Mermaid and Flounder for this one. Um, I actually did, um, I put these little flowers I got from Michael's, I believe. Yeah, these little flowers from Michael's. I got like three or four or five packs when they were on sale for like 60% off. So I got a bunch of different colors. Um, and I went ahead and I made a sticker wand. So, yeah, so I put a lot of stuff in there. Um, I put lace around here, and then I'll bring this in close so you can see. I put pearls around, and then I put this around, this little trim. And then I cut this out with one of my dies, and I used my ebosser for that. Um, so this, like I said, is two, um, two 12 inches long, so 24 inches long total by four four three and a half four inches wide so this is actually fairly large um where's my, i don't know where my ruler is right now but i it's probably mm, it's pretty big let me measure it out over here it's probably a good five six inches wide total from side to side um and then i got these trims from tuesday morning these i got from wish website and then these other trims I have I have had for let me fix this camera. Okay, these other trims I've had just in my stash for like a long time. So I put those on there. And then because if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I make a charm for everything. So of course I had to put a little charm in there. I thought that she could put it on her backpack for school. And hopes no one takes it off her backpack because she might be upset. And she is a sweetie. She loves to read. And she's so smart. So I figured this would be perfect. So I made this little charm. I made this. I used one of these little vials here. And I just filled it up with glitter and um, some other things I got from the dollar store. I always buy these for, like, if I'm going to do anything shaker. So I put that in there, and then I had a bunch of these that I had bought from Michael's a long time ago. So in the, when they had the dollar bins back in the day. So I made this, and I just glued it with my glue gun, the glue gun my husband bought me for Valentine's Day. Yep, it's a glue gun. It's gigantic, but I like it. Um, so yeah, I did that, and I made all these little dangles. Um, I wire wrapped each one, and I put... Um, bead caps on top and those I put little um, what would you call those like little spacer beads um, but they're really like seed beads but I just use them for spacers and then I had these in my stash I thought I'd put one of those on there I put a little key like the key to the treasure chest I put a sea turtle oops a sea turtle on there and then these little um, these little beads beaded beads pretty much is what they are um they're um jesse james and i put those on there and then i put these 
And then this one, I really like this one. I thought this one came out super cute. I put a rondelle on it, so I thought that she would love that. So, and all I did is to attach it, because it's not going to stay on here forever. It's not like something, if it was going to be a stay on, I would have figured something else out, but it's not. So all I did is I took, I have these large clasps. I bought clasps for a long time and just keep them in my stash for whatever I'm going to make. So all I did is I went in and just kind of attached it to the ribbon. Just like, if I can get this closer, I will do it here. All right. Oh, come on. Okay. So, alrighty. There we go. There's that one. And then you can just throw another one in there just to kind of make it a little bit more secure. So then you've got a cute little charm hanging off your little, well, not little, it's big. Um, shaker wand. So yeah, I saw a video of this here on YouTube. Um, I'm trying to think. Serenity Creations showed one she got in a swap, and then she had a link to a video, and I went and watched that. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I mean, you get the idea of what you need to do um, by watching the video. So yeah, so this is the one that I thought was so cute. So. My daughter is going with us, that is 14, and she saw it and she's like, we were in the car and she said, so how much work was that to do? So I was like, do you want one? And she's like, yeah, I really want one because it's really cute. So I'm in the process of making her one and I'll put a charm on hers too. So I put all this little ribbons back here. I just thought it kind of gave it a little something. Let me dig them out. There we go. And so, you know, I put a little bit of red because Little Mermaid's hair is red. So I put a little bit of red and a little yellow because she's flounders yellow and then the blues. So, yeah. So that's what I did. Oops, that's what I did for that. So, and you can see there's a Little Mermaid in there. There's a little close up so you can see flounder and that's all the beads and stuff I put in there. So Little Mermaid's not that big. What I did is I used um, one of those buttons that they had, like the button kits. Um, so like it came with Sebastian, two aerials, and a flounder. And I think I ended up buying two packs of that and I just cut the little... Um, the little button uh, piece where you would sew it onto something. I just cut that off and then just put this together and I just thought it worked out so cute. I just loved it. And this um, I did with the Martha Stewart punch. So once you score it, don't fold it and use your punch then. If you wait or you punch it before, you can't score it. Well, I can't. I don't know. Maybe somebody else can, but I cannot. So... Yeah, so that's how I did that. So I'll show you the next one I have in progress. It's not done. I, this is my starting piece right here. I had a sheet of paper. This is the paper I used right there. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this is the paper I used. Um, and so I used a punch for the back just to cover that little circle where the glue and stuff goes and I just had to pick off the glue strings I used more of the flowers and I did go ahead and glue use my glue gun to glue down the um, sequins and pearls or not sequins the bling pieces and pearls that way to make sure they stay um, if they get in rougher hands at some point but my daughter's 14 so I think it should be fine so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to put Sebastian and Ariel in this one. Um, so tomorrow, well, you'll see it after this video. Well, I'll go ahead and post this video, and then I'll finish this one tomorrow on video. But I did the same thing again. Two 12-inch pieces of paper. This one, um, let me see, is it? It's a little bigger. I actually did four inches. Um, four inches wide on this one. I think this one was three and a quarter or three and a half. Um, I might have said four, but it's 
three and a quarter or three and a, or three and a half to three and three quarters for this one. So this one I did at four inches. I used this punch. Uh, where's my punch at? Oh, yeah, I got a mess up here from doing these because there's so much you have to take out. So I use this Recollections punch I've had in my stash, I don't know, forever and ever and ever. Um, so I did that. And I did the colors a little bit different, so it's not exactly the same. I put a little bit more blue in this one. Um, my daughter likes blue a lot, and I'll do a charm for her, and I'll do the charm on video as well. I will probably, I'll do a couple dangles on video, and then do the rest off video, and then kind of um, just put it all together for you. So I just went through my stash and just started looking for stuff that I could use to make these wands. I didn't go out and buy anything special. The only thing I really went out to buy was paper straws. I didn't have um, very many paper straws, so I went ahead and did that. Um, so yeah, that's, oh, and these are the bling and pearl pieces I used. I think they're just from dollar bins is what I did from the dollar, dollar fifty or whatever they used to be. They were dollar bins. It's all from my stash. So I just wanted to do something just use stuff for my stash. So this is the chain I used for the charm. I've had this in my stash. It's from um, Meadow Gallery from Hobby Lobby. Um, I, I'm, normally I don't buy them unless they're 50% off. So I did that. And then I'm also going to be doing another. I'm obsessed with these wands. I really like to make them. So let me show you the paper I'm going to be using next for the next wand. this paper. I'm going to do a chalk one. I got this chalk paper in my stash and I was like, I got to use that for something. So I'm going to use this paper probably for it. And I'm probably going to make a couple wands out of this and do black and like gray. And I think it'll look super, super cute. I am going to add this, these right here. These are like the coral. I'm going to add them to that charm and then I'm going to add them to my daughter's charm too because I just think they kind of give it a little something under the sea type. So I'm going to do that. And then, so yeah, I will finish this up on video. Um, when I make the next one, if you want, I can do, do a process video from beginning to end. And so that way you can see exactly what I did and how I did it and all that stuff. So yeah, so I think that's what I will do um, for that. So you can see the size difference. I, th I think the bigger ones are cute. I'm actually going to be making a purse bag out of paper for this um, because we're going this Saturday. I'm probably going to work on that tomorrow. I found a video on YouTube. So I figured I would just, um, yeah, I would make a little purse bag to go with it and put um, some of that little, um, I'll put some confetti in there and then some candy and I'll put this in there and her charm. And I'm also going to make a little memory bracelet for her to wear also. So yeah, so that's what I've been up to. And I've also been up to my weight loss stuff still. So that's going fine. Um, I, I will make a video on that and put it on my weight loss channel, which I will link down below. Um, so you can see that. Um, oh, and this is the, these are the sprinkles I'm going to use in the shaker for the, um, for the chalkboard one. I bought these little sugar crystals a long time ago. Um, they were on clearance at Michael's. So I was just going to use this one and this one and this one in there. And maybe I'll put some little colored ones since they're, the stars are colored. So I'll do that. So that is pretty much it for now, and I will be posting this video tonight, and then the other one I will be doing a video of tomorrow. There's a better look at the charm, but there you go. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any questions or comments below, and I'll get back to you when I can, um, and that's that. Have a great night.